Okay, today's lesson we're going to be looking at a form of talking about the future. The future continuous and the future perfect. I don't normally like saying the grammatical names for things and giving grammatical terms. I just kind of did it out of habit. But that's what these are. It's the future continuous and the future perfect. And the future continuous is will be. This shows that it's the future and continuous. The future perfect, have past participle is the present perfect. I have been to Japan. So the will makes it future. And that's an easy way to remember this. That's an easy way to know when to use these things is it's the exact same thing as their present tense, only you add will. So B-I-N-G, I am running. You are, well, I am teaching. <laughs> you are watching, eventually. Uh, we are studying. Okay, the B-I-N-G will be in the future is, you just use it, but change the timetable from here, the present tense, and apply it to the future tense. Uh, the same thing with have past participle, the perfect tense. Present perfect is talking about, talking about experiences in the past, right? I have lived in Korea. It's experiences in the past. Just shift this time to the future, and there's your future perfect. Easy, right? You are on fire. We are on fire of learning these things today. Let's look at um, more about the future tense. We're going to the future. And we're using two different types of grammar to talk about the future. We're using future continuous and future perfect, as I told you. We're going to look at make predictions for five years from now, make predictions for 20 years from now, and further on in the future. I want you to make predictions and think about what will your life look like five years from now? What will people in general look like five years from now? What will technology be like five years from now? What will health and medicine look like five years from now? What will the environment situation be five years from now? So we're going to look at these. Let's first look at the will be ing, the continuous tense. I think people will be marrying less. You could use will marry less, but you could also use will be marrying less. Scientists will be improving electric cars. You could say scientists will improve electric cars, that's fine. But will be improving implies the continuous future tense kind of implies that it's kind of an ongoing thing. If scientists will improve means something in the future, something will happen. Sometime in the future, something will happen. That's kind of the idea scientists will improve. But scientists will be improving uh, implies that there's kind of an ongoing process will be improving. They're improving it now. They'll be improving it two years from now. They'll be improving it five years from now, six years from now. It's an ongoing process. That's the will be. That's, the, that's what we think about with the will be, ing. Scientists will be improving electric cars. People will be using more alternative medicine. I think people will be using more alternative medicine. What do you think? I, th uh, I think we won't be sending as many letters in the mail. 
we won't be sending as many letters in the mail. Again, more a continuous idea. We will be using more alternative energy, which will be a good thing. <laughs> what do you think will have happened in the future? This is the result of something in the future. Scientists will have created sustainable alternative energy. They kind of have already by now, but I think they will have created more. Right-wing political parties will have become weaker. Mm, I think that's fair. I think that's the trend that's happening. I think that right-wing political parties or extreme political parties on each side, they'll obviously become weaker and other extreme parties will rise. We won't, and this is a good negative one, we won't have found, we will have found as a positive, we won't have found, that's, that's how you make it negative, we won't have found. You don't have to change anything, don't change anything with the have or the verb, those stay the same. The ver, the have and the past participle, those stay the same. We will or we won't have. That makes it positive, it also makes it negative. We will and we won't have found. And Great Britain will have left the EU. Sorry, British friends, I had to do it. I had to do it, I'm a pain in the ass, I know. Well, look at who our president's gonna be in the future this year, oof. Electric cars will have become more popular. Electric cars will have become, they will have already become more popular and they will be becoming more popular. So that's kind of a continuous thing. That's five years from now. So I want you to tell me these things, take a second and write these down. Take a second and write these down in the continuous and in the perfect tense. Okay, well, that wasn't a, quite a minute, but you can pause it if you have to. Before you do these, I'm going to give you an example of my answers. In my life, I will be working solely on the internet. I will be working solely on the internet, only on the internet. Sophia will have turned six. So I will be working continuous. Sophia will have turned, Sophia is my daughter, will have turned six. So she's one and a half now. She will have turned six by that time. Five years from now, her birthday will have already happened. People in general, people will be eating more organic food. I believe and I hope that organic foods will be, bec will be becoming more popular. Smartphones will have become even smarter. I think that's pretty obvious. They're becoming smarter every day. People will be using cannabis to treat many illnesses. And I think that's a trend that's happening in the United States. It's an awesome trend. It's a very good trend because cannabis is a relief and, and a treatment to many illnesses. The environment, climate change still won't have been eradicated, still won't have been terminated, it still will have, will be a, a problem. Let's move to 20 years, years from now. now. I want you to answer the same things. What do you think, 20 years from now, what do you think these areas will look like? What do you think we, you, will look like? What will your life be in 20 years from now? What will, what will people in general be like 20 years from now? Will we be half robots? Will we have our genetics changed, modified? What will happen in 20 years? What will technology look like in 20 years? I thought that we would have had, I thought we would have had uh, flying cars by 2016. 20 years ago, I thought we would have had flying cars. I thought we would have had flying cars by now.
We don't. Maybe 20 years from now, we might. We might be able to time travel for real, not just in class here. Uh, we'll be watching virtual reality shows. <laughs> we already kind of do, don't we? Don't we? <laughs> we already kind of do, don't we? Question tag. Health and medicine. What is that going to look like in 20 years? And the environment. What's that going to look like in 20 years? So I want you to look at these things and use the continuous and the perfect tense for the future. For example, will people be reading books and magazines 20 years from now? That's a good question. Will you be living a healthy life 20 years from now? Will flying cars finally have been invented? Will robots have taken over civilization? These are all good questions. So I want to know, I want you to tell me what will 20 years from now look like? And then even further in the future, what will that look like? So what will the future look like? What will the future hold? You tell me.